la agricultura, que mucha gente quiera, la ayuda de hermanos, es súper importante, no solamente compartían con su empresa. Encontré una compañía de productos, de una compañía.
welcome to a new English class. This is the class number 11. It's a wonderful number. Es un número excelente. ¿Por qué significa? It means that we have nine class left. Nine classes left. Solo tenemos nueve clases para terminar. Sí, que va a pasar bastante rápido. Let's listen to Carly. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Good. So, so. Never better. Oh, wow, well, I like that. It was that, a good buddy. day. Yeah, and it's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then the weekend. You don't work on Saturdays, right? Yes, I do. I, ah, I do. You do? You work? Yeah. I do. Okay, so in that case, do you <laughs> work all day long or just the morning? All day long. All day Until long. 5 p.m. Okay. 5 p.m. Casi <laughs> 6. Okay, your free days are Sundays, just Sundays? Sundays, and, no sé cómo se dice, pero descanso, un día de semana al mes. Aparte day de off. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have one day off uh, once a month mm -hmm. or monthly. Once a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Bye. it. Yeah, maybe, are you accustomed? ¿Estás acostumbrada? Yes. Yes, okay, very nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, and, and that's nice because you're young. Tiene todas las fuerzas. You are. Aparte que si no estoy en mi trabajo, no vendo. Y tengo que. Okay, that depends. Okay. Yes. So it's, it's mandatory to be, yes. okay, your job. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Very nice. Thank you for sharing your experience working on Saturday. I spent like nine day nine days nine years working from monday to saturday night i used to rest just sundays solo los domingos descansaba and it was i was accustomed estaba acostumbrado problem aunque se nine. siente como que uno apenas despierta y ya está para dormir otra vez that's something But... really negative because if you wanted to to have fun, to have good time with your family and friends, you just have You're one tired. day. <laughs> that day you want to rest, you want to sleep, right? Yes, I okay, feel Okay, so you want to watch movies or spend time at home, uh, do the laundry <laughs> and a lot of things. So it is not enough, but uh, talking about money, it, it is better because you, you can earn more money. Yeah. Well, depends on any job, but um, it is good to, to have two days, at least uh, Saturday afternoon, por lo menos la tarde del sábado. That's something really positive. Ah, pues sí. Bueno, bueno. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carly. Very nice. Uh, here we have some others. Jose, Brenda, Florcita. I don't know if you are there, Flor. Um, it's Thursday. Hello, teacher. Hello. Te escucho low battery, Flor. How are you? I, I feel sick. I, I like just, wind. I, I a fever. Yeah, this wind brings some uh, virus or bacteria. So be careful with the sore throat, the dolor de garganta, sore throat, yeah. maybe the flu. No alert, sé que me quiero dar, pero me siento de te. Tengo como dos días, pero ahora no me siento así tan tan bien. Okay, I know you feel like uh, how people say, como dice la gente, irritada. You feel like mm, down. Así, así como, right? como, como calenturada, no sé. Yeah, mm -hmm, I know. Maybe you can take some, some yeah, uh, acetaminophen maybe or something like that. Because that is not going to prevent or the flu or or so throat but the it can prevent uh, you feel like very very like down te puede prevenir por lo menos la calentura sí. te va a ayudar sí okay. sí estoy tomando que ya tomé algo and drink water drink water ya le vamos a preguntar a... okay nice very nice ya le vamos a preguntar a Juancito qué pociones no recomiendo porque Juancito no usa el oro. He has a lot of Hello, teacher. Hello, Juan. Good evening, everybody. Okay. <laughs> How was your Thursday? 
I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. Okay. Very good. In order. Okay, nice, Juan. Yes. Bueno, como recomendación una ibuprofeno ahí para florcita. Ok, very nice. Eh, esa sí calma todo. Ahí sí ni modo. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Juancito, uh, the doctor, doctor who, uh, yes, providing some advice and that's good. Um, it is not good to self-medicate or to make us, but there are some pills, hay pastillas que sí, ¿verdad, Juancito? Yeah, it's like, you can exactly. take them. It is Ibuprofeno, not... eh, yes. acetaminopen. Acetaminopen, yeah. I don't know if Floratadina as well, maybe prevents a uh, allergy, yeah. and, and allergy. I know. And that's really uncomfortable. I mean, como estar así. It's yeah. like, and you feel your, that day, every day, you feel like very long. Largo, no termina el día. I know. So, well, be careful because uh, we're going to have some windy days. Because we are in October, remember pichuchas and all those things. But nowadays, these winds are like, y están como medio tardaditos, right, Juan? Janet, verdad que estos vientos están como medio tardados, no como otros años. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que desde hace unos cuantos años atrás, creo que los vientos de octubre ya no son en octubre. No, ya creo no que mejor. se han ido como para noviembre. Por el calentamiento global, teacher. Se han yes, global las, warming. Las estaciones. Yes. Janet, ¿te recuerdas cómo hace cuánto que, que se desconfiguró esto? Quizá eh, unos cinco en años. El 2000, en el 2003 todavía teníamos viento de octubre. ¿Really? Ok. Sí, que tenía a mi hijo tiernito y aquí vientos. Ah, you remember that. Ok, ya. Yeah. You have a clear yes, idea. Ok. Sí. 2003. Yes, I remember. It started on, on October and your brain was, okay, uh, when, when the days are coming, ya ven los, los, los días así con bastante viento. And I remember that before October, when I was a, 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 a teen, cuando era adolescente, in the last week of September, there were some piscuchas. Ya habían piscuchas la última semana de septiembre. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. yes, it started in. Uy, casi that, ya no se ven las piscuchas. No, no. I make no, eh, no. papel de china. Ajá. Al menos sí aprendí a hacerlas esas. Las de papel de china. Really? Sí. Yo con bolsitas me, las hacía. Yes, me, gustaba, me, too. me gustaba hacer las cuadriculadas, como que ah. era la machina. Ah, ok. Pero de colores, o sea, me I'm encantaba really hacer eso. Yes, it, it, it is like very, es que se, se veía más vistoso. No, I used sí. to use eh, plastic bags, bolsas de plástico, ¿verdad, Carly? Era bien fácil, se cortaba. Bien estiradita. Nunca aprendí a hacer esos papalotes. Really? No, Solo de, de, de papel de china, lo así. Ah, ya. No, Incluso I used me to... llevaban a cortar unas varitas que no sé, eh, se bambú, parecía al bambú. Se, no, parecido. se parecía al bambú, ajá. Era como una palmera, no sé cómo caraja era. No sé cómo se llama ese, ese tipo de, de planta. Yo lo hacía con, con, está la palma de coco, pero cada palma tiene las varillitas. Entonces yo lo que hacía es sacar la varillita nada más y pelarla y dejarla lisa. Ah, y es flat está tenerla así lisa. Yes, oh, ok. Very nice remembering, recordando all time. Con lo que de Michael, remember the time. Bueno, recommendation. Ok. Face mask. Eh, the mask. Face mask. Ah, yes. Face mask all the time. And it is good to remember people yes. are going to be coughing. La gente va a estar tosiendo. A lot of dust, polvo. And yes, better. Even nowadays, eh, we are very relaxed because of the COVID, we think that we are uh, exactly. out of danger. Estamos fuera de peligro, but no. The virus is in there. Todavía está ahí. Okay, so, yes. As Juan says, uh, face mask. Okay. So, let's see. Here we have Laura, Fernando, Elia, Noé, Fatima. Okay, nice. Good evening, Cesar, uh, Odalis. 
very nice. We have a lot of uh, participants connected. And let me show you the topic. Here we have, uh, this is a very interesting and useful and useful topic. Uh, it is how to how to use would you and would you mind, okay? Would you and would you mind? That's the topic, it's the class number 11. So really good because we are on the way to finish. Ya estamos en el camino para finalizar. Just nine classes and that's going to be very quickly. Ya van a ver que va a pasar bastante rápido, okay? So how to use could you, okay, in este caso, Could, okay, remember that that's the pronunciation, could, and in this case is, I'm sorry, would, okay, could, would. Could, like a uh, Guns Roses song, could you mean mine, could you be mine, and uh, Bob Marley's song as well, could you be loved, Yes, and that's it. So could, could, and would, okay, would you mind? And we're going to uh, study these phrases to ask or we can ask politely, podemos preguntar de una manera amable con el could you. Y con el would you mind, podemos solicitar eh, cosas de manera amable. Okay, here we have um, ways to order food. Uh, before we uh, start uh, checking the attendance list, here we have this vocabulary. If you are in a restaurant, you can ask for food with these four phrases. For example, I will have a pizza. I'll get pasta. I like some tacos. I'll take uh, spaghetti. You can talk about chicken, soup. And remember this, talking about soup. Okay. Okay, in this case, here we have two words. Soup significa sopa, soup, soup, como super, superman, soup. But soap significa jabón. Pero curiosamente, soap se pronuncia como se escribe sopa, okay? Entonces, cuando vemos esto, a veces, sometimes people confuse the words and think that it is talking about sopa, but soap is jabón, soup. So, okay, so remember this. So you can say, I will, I'll take um, chicken soup, uh, bean soup, and so on, okay? So four phrases, I will have, I'll get, I'd like, I'll take, okay? And some other vocabulary, for example, snacks, es como, Botanas, como, como, como entradas, eh, podemos decir también. Dessert, eh, dessert es como se llama postre y dessert es desierto. Ok, dessert, desierto, dessert es postre. Ok, eh, you can say yes. Dessert, por ejemplo, yeah, cakes. I will have cakes, I will have cheesecake and some. You can talk about, I like a cup of coffee, I'll take a glass of water, okay? A glass, uh, a cup of wine. And you can talk about different things, different uh, dishes, food in specific. So I need you to use any of these phrases and use um, the name of any dish. Pueden utilizar el nombre del plato. Por ejemplo, I will have tacos, okay? I like uh, some pasta, soup, okay? Ribs, costillas, 
So anything that comes to your mind, okay? Use these phrases. So, and add the name of food or drink, eh, nombre de alguna bebida o este, comida. Okay, let's listen in this case. Here we have. Okay, and what about Abel Edenilson? Do we have Abel? Present, teacher. Hello, Abel. Okay, what about any phrase and yeah, food or drink? I will have. I will have. I will not have a um, soda. Okay, we have a soda. Easy. Uh, okay, Alexander is moving. Brenda, I don't know if Brenda is available. I like tacos. Thank you. Cesar. Present. Thank you. And Hi, teacher. Present. Hello, Cesar. Okay, what about you? I will have uh, short ribs. Good one. Yeah, it's so delicious. Douglas, are you there? No. Okay. And Elia? Hello. Hello, Elia. Um, I will stay. I will have a stay. Ah, okay. Very nice. What about uh, Fatima? If Fatima is not there. Hello, teacher. Hello, Fatima. Hello. It takes a water. Okay, I'll take. I'll take water. I'll take uh, water. Nice. Okay. Uh, we are about Fernando. I like. A snack. Okay, some snacks. Nice. Uh, Flor de Maria. I'd like a uh, chicken soup. Okay, I'd, I'd, I'd like. I'd like chicken like soup. Chicken soup. Okay, chicken soup. Porque soup es jabón. Mm. Soup. Jabón de pollo. <laughs> okay, very nice. And it is very different chicken soup and canned soup. Okay. Sopa de gallina es diferente que la sopa de pollo, right? Es que yo quería decir gallina, pero... A hen, hen. Chicken hen. hen. No, okay. solo hen. Chick ah, okay. Hen, hen. soup. Oh, hen soup, hen yes. Soup. Definitely delicious. Well, personally, it's my favorite soup. Sopa favorita, sopa gallina. Mm. Me too. Yeah, delicious. Thank you. Uh, what about... Uh, Jose Mauricio is moving. Juancito, what about you? Present teacher, no. I will have a steak. Okay, yes. Or real. Raves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good one. Yes. So carnivoro. Yeah. I can see it. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, what about uh, Julissa? Present teacher. Okay, Julissa. I like pizza. Okay, pizza. Good. Carly. I'd like, I'd like. A big burger. A big burger. Have yes. you tried Mike's burger here in San Salvador? Yes, I love it. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Juancito, have you tried? It's a, a big, a large burger. Big, big burger. Y nada que ver con lo que uno acostumbra ver de las hamburguesas. Yeah, and mm -hmm. even big. there is a knife. Hasta un cuchillo te pone. <laughs> there is a knife even. Yes. Uh, yes, and uh, even the, it is kind of not not that expensive mm -hmm. because you can you receive a lot of food, and you can be like fed up. Cuando decimos fed up, es llenísimo cuando están ya. Ah, me toca okay. compartir aunque no me guste mucho. Yeah, sometimes or you can take it at home, but it is the, better. But it is better to eat in the restaurant, right? The yeah. taste of meat. Okay, yeah, but there's a parade. <laughs> the explosion. Yeah, there's a, and even the meat, it is very like bold, y como, como bastante gruesa, verdad, entonces. Pero no cruda, eh? y eso es bien difícil. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe the, the, the cocktail, it's like very well prepared, because sometimes you can, you can eat food, uh, eat meat, carne, 
and it, it is not well cooked. No está bien eh, cocinada. Okay. Full term. Full term. Yeah, well, in my case, I prefer it. Okay, Delicious. nice. Okay, you, you like food a lot. Nice. What about Laura? If Laura is there. Okay. I'm present teacher. Hello, Laura. What about I, your friend? I, I like hamburger. Okay, hamburger, good. And what about Marvin? I'm here. Okay, Marvin. What about you? I like food. Mm -hmm. Nice. Janet? Uh, buenas. I Hello. like fish. Okay, fish. Good one. And Odalis. Present teacher. What about you? I will have. I will have pupusas. Oh yes, pupusas. Yes, that's a traditional. Is something that original. Uh, yeah, the original. And hey, you're not going to be fed up, nunca se van a, a llenar o aburrir o say I don't want it, okay? So pupusas are so delicious. And here we have seafood es comida eh, mariscos, okay? But you can talk about fish, shrimp, you can talk about what? Uh, different type, otra cosa. Cuando van a utilizar la palabra fish, porque la vez pasada hicimos esa, esa actividad y, no, y no, no me quedó tiempo para aclararlo. Cuando decimos fish, es, es, un, es un sustantivo irregular. Quiere decir que si dicen three fish, se refieren a tres pescados. Pero te pueden decir one fish, three fish. It doesn't change. Pero si dicen fishes, se refieren a diferentes tipos de especies de pescado. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, you say, oh, I want three fish. Quiero tres pescados. Boca colorada o whatever. For being a water, no. Different types of names. But if you say, I, ha, I want three fishes, eh, maybe you're talking about well, colorada, tiburón sin, or I don't know, whatever you want to eat. So different species, diferentes especies. Así que este es un, un sustantivo irregular que no cambia. Okay, three fish. Okay, um, let's see. What about Oscar? Are you there? No. Rosa is moving. Kevin. Okay, Liliana. No, Mario. Present. Hello, Mario. What about you? I was eating. I were, were eating. Yes. Mm -hmm. hey, what about this? I'll have, I'll get, I'll like. Take. I don't know what is the exercise because uh, I have... you have to say this phrase to order food so you can say this and your favorite food or whatever you want to say about drinks or food. Okay, I will have a lasagna. Oh, yes, perfect. And okay. what about Noe? Okay, <laughs> thank you, Noe. Okay, I'd like ice cream. Okay, ice cream, good. Election, Adriana. Hello. Okay, what about you? I like pepperoni pizza. Oh, yes, one of my favorites. Thank you. When you say something is tasty, it's, it's something that it's delicious. It's the same. You say, oh, this rice is tasty. Este arroz está buenísimo. It's, uh, I'm sorry, Tati. ¿Cómo que está tiene? Tasty, okay? Tasty, it's similar to delicious. You can tell something that is horrible or something that is disgusting, something that is not good, okay? So, uh, type of, uh, different type of vocabulary that you can apply when you are talking about food. Something sweet es algo dulce. Salty es salado, pero no me refiero a que alguien es salado porque tiene mala suerte. No, I'm talking about food. Um, commonly, there are people that they prefer sweet, uh, sweet food 
or sweet desserts, we have salty, that, uh, some other people that they are always adding salt. Hay gente que siempre le está agregando sal a la comida. Even the, the food uh, contains salt, but they want more. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that that uh, acid, algo que está ácido, bitter, algo que es amargo. Okay. Bitter, como bitter sweet, agridulce. Bitter sweet symphony type of sound. Okay. So this type of uh, vocabulary that maybe we can apply. Eh, Gisela, hello, no te mencioné. Sí, exacto. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gisela. Okay, what about your phrase? I'm sorry. Um, I will have a pizza. Okay, yes. I guess everybody loves pizza. Creo que todos nos gusta la pizza. I don't know if, yes, I don't know <laughs> if there's a... <laughs> there are different types. La vez pasada mencionaron que había... Not you. Uh, have to try shells pizza. Pizza como de conchas, ah. o sea, una cuestión así. Sí. ¿Y la del orojo qué tal? Yo sí, no se llama de, se llama eh, pizza de frutos del mar. Okay. Frutos del mar. Ok, I, I understand shrimp. Les entiendo el, el camarón. Of course, shrimp. No, lleva But... camarones, mejillones, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Hay otro que se llama... Pulpo lleva... Pero hay otro. Calamar. Calamar, esa era. Caballo. Calamarín elegante. Ok. Y, <risa> yes, I understand. Teacher, lo que Calamar pasa es... es que... Perdón, teacher, lo que pasa es que tal vez nunca le ha tomado el sabor a la concha cocida o cocinada. Normalmente es cruda yeah. por el cóctel. Because of the Pero cocktail. cocinada es otra cosa, porque los rellenos de concha en sí, no sé cuántos de los del grupo oh, los, los han comido. Rellenos de concha. No idea about it. No idea. Es algo que no se lo tienen que perder en esta vida, creo yo. Antes de morir. Yo algo before, como, before. Era como un pastel con una tilapia adentro. No, no, un no. Un pastel, un el, tamal. El relle... El relleno Carly, de ¿dónde has andado, es... Carly? ¿Dónde has andado? La tamaño. concha, se hace el relleno, adentro de la concha y se envuelve en huevo. Como que fuera un relleno normal. Y, cabal, en el plato casi que unas cuatro o cinco conchitas, pero llevan el, el con qué adentro. Y, okay. Pero es una preparación así bien especial, con concha, creo que carne de cerdo. Bueno, mi señora... Lo, lo prepara eso, ¿verdad? Cuando oh. hay oportunidad. No, teacher, yeah. cuando termine este curso va a tener que probar todos esos platos. Sí. Vamos, para... a, vamos a la casa de Juancito. A la casa de Juancito. Ahí va a, la a la casa de todos. De acuerdo. <risa> ok. Eh, en Charlie Boy, uh -huh. eh, they sell a pizza called Black Pearl. Eh, Black Pearl. ¿Ya la he escuchado eso? ¿Ya la he visto? No, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know what it's about it. Ajá, es de mariscos, pero tiene la tinta de calamar encima. Sí, ya la probé yo. Eh, eh, buena. It's good. Eh, sí, sí. Sí. Ok, ok. <risa> maybe, baby, Charlie, Charlie Boy. Yes. Ok, okay. I'm going to take the ground. Ya estoy escribiendo. No, when you recommend something, I take notes. Because there's something that I don't know. Cosa que no sé yo. I want to try it. Hay que probar. Thank you. Um, I always mention the bucket list. The bucket list is a name of a movie. And it, it is... What are the name of these actors? Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. So they create a list of activities that they have to do before they die. Because they have like... One, Eight months or one year? I don't remember. The yes, of... remember. Good movie. Have you seen it? Yeah. Good. Yeah, really good movie. So there are uh, some things that you have to add to your bucket list. ¿Verdad? Bucket list se significa como la lista de, 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 de la cubeta porque cuando alguien muere se dice kick the bucket. Patear la cubeta. You can say pass away. You can say, go to heaven. Hay diferentes eufemismos. O sea, formas de decir las cosas. 
Exacto. De boca, de tipo cuando que decimos nada. nosotros estiró la pata. Algo así. Petateo, tatilinte. Yeah, que claro. Creo que esa película la conocieron como algo así como la lista de deseo, una cosa así, ¿verdad? Algo, yo, yo la conocí como antes de partir. Antes de partir. No, ajá, lista, ajá, yes. Pero hacen una lista de deseo. Que, yes, por cumplir. yes. Yes, and good because one of the actors, one of the yes, the the characters, it it's rich, it's millionaire, so it is easy for them. But recommendation for you. And now let's continue with this and talking about food. Do you have any unhealthy habits? Tienen algún hábito? que no sea saludable. Ok. Which one? I guess we have a lot, but we don't pay attention to this because it's, it's common and it's part of our normal days. But I don't know if you have some unhealthy habits. Ok, so let's listen in this case to Abel and then Elia. Ok, Abel, do you have any unhealthy habit? Ok, teacher. My... My habit is falling asleep at night, watching okay. movies. Okay, and what time do you usually sleep? Fall asleep, okay, te cae ya, inconsciente. Yeah. <laughs> what time, 11, 12? Oh, one. one. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, because it is best to rest in, on your bed. Yeah, in a camera different because you're, you're Body is like very relaxed. Okay. Okay. They're very relaxed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about Elia okay. and Adriana? Nice. I don't know, teacher. Really, Elia? Tan saludable son, mujer. Wow. Uh, eat any type of food that is not healthy. Not doing exercise because that is one. If you don't do any activity, physical activity, that's unhealthy. But well, anyway, let's go with um, Adriana and then Kevin. Okay, Adriana. Okay. Um, my only habit is I do some exercise at night and clean my face. Okay, but that's healthy. That's good if you do exercise because sometimes we are tired. We don't want to do anything. But yeah. well, thank you. Kevin, what about you? And then Noe. Okay, maybe Kevin is not ready. What about Noe? Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, Kevin. Okay, it's the... Or, uh, do you have um, any unhealthy habit? You have it. Um, it it's boxy food. Okay. Uh, you you just say okay. You consume a lot. Thank you. And Noé. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what about you? And then Mario. I sleep a short time on Saturday. Okay. How much time? One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours? Uh, four hours. Four hours at night? Yes. Yes. It's, it's a short period of time. You need at least six hours. With six hours, I guess you, you can rest and feel mm -hmm. good. Okay, thank you, Noé. What about Mario? Que Hello, creamos que es saludable. You're so healthy. <coughs> uh -huh. I smoke. No, just kidding, teacher. Just kidding. Okay. Es, no. <laughs> my only habit is drink soda, my special Coca Cola. Okay. In the week, I drink Coca Cola four, four, three times in the week. Oh, during the week, mm -hmm. four or three times. And what about on the weekends? Only Sundays. The only week. Sundays. 
Okay, nice. But uh, yes, there are a lot of sodas. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, well, and even I have seen people that they drink every day, even in the morning. But no, I teacher. understand at lunch. <laughs> lunch is like, but in the morning as a breakfast, okay, that's so difficult. Thank mm -hmm. you, Mario. Okay? okay. Try to try to decrease. I can intentar disminuir un poco. Yes. Okay, thank you, my friend. Let's go now with uh, the last activity. Talking about past tense, you already know that for affirmative, you have to use uh, ed if you're talking about regular verbs. Si irregular, cambiamos. For negatives, we use didn't, and for questions, we use did. Okay, so now that we are clear on this, we're going to complete this exercise. Look at this. Here we have uh, these activities. Well, uh, most of them are irregular. La mayoría son irregulares. But there are some regulars. So take a look at this. And we're going to apply for a simple pause. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Un par de segundos para que le den una revisión. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Um, tell the story, fill the past simple tense. Um, volunteers, or maybe I can call one by one, okay? Remember that we have to pay attention to this. Um, let me see. Just give me a, okay. Uh, we're going to pay attention to two aspects. For example, okay, maybe we can have regular and irregular, like for example, go, went, um, sleep, slept. That's one example of irregular. But if we are talking about regular, Remember that we have three types of pronunciation. Three types, okay? I, de, de, de. Son los tres tipos de pronunciaciones con los regulares. So try to be careful because this is the last activity talking about simple past and we're going to study some other um, grammar structure, okay? Maybe we can start here with Carly and after Carly, we go with Cesar. Eh, y puedo escoger cualquier espacio para llenar o el primero. Si no Vamos en orden, mejor Carly. Bye. Um, on Friday, the children talked about a day out. Yes, talked very nice. Okay. Every day uh, together in the country. Thank you, Cesar. And then we go with Mario. This the, uh, the next morning, they goes to the country with their two. But in the past, go the, with the past. Goes? No. 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 Irregular. Es irregular. Ah, ah perdón. Y estos bueno. son de los verbos que nada que ver con presente. Ah, sí, sí. Letras. Okay. Thank you. They went to the country with their two dogs and Mario. And after Mario, we go with Juan. Uh, to the country with their two dogs and played. Perfect. Very Together. good. <laughs> Very good pronunciation. Played. Together. Okay, Juancito. Ben. Okay. Uh, next. 
Sometimes leather, the duck. Uh -uh. Ben and Dave. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. One moment, please. Okay, here we have. Okay, see, Ben and Dave have. Uh huh. Some. Yes, okay. Has some kites. Estamos hablando de picuchas. Kites. Ah, okay. Some kites, kites es cometas o picuchas. Yes. De hecho, hay una, hay una canción de YouTube que se llama Kite. Kite. <laughs> message, message is so wonderful. Es un mensaje para yes. soltar. Good one. Okay, thank you, eh, Juancito. What okay. about if we go now with um, Julissa and then Fernando? Tom? Sometimes there are the dog, dogs. Mm. You have two options. Was or where? Was or where? Um, ¿Qué opinas? ¿Cuál de las dos? Ay, teacher, perdí esa imagen. Este, quiero ver. Was? Mm -mm. No, where. Where, okay. where, porque estamos hablando de perros. Es plural. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're not there. So they, in this case, Fernando and then Flor. Cold. So, the, yeah. Thank you. Call them and look for them in the forest. And let's listen to, we go with Janet and then Marvin, okay? And look for them in the forest. After half an hour, the children, alguna idea, Janet? Esa está en la, quiero ver. Está en la... Sí, en la otra imagen de los irregulares. Es la 29. After half, porque no es half, es half. After half an hour, the children... ¿Le encontraste, Janet? No. No te escuchamos. Sorry. Sorry. Sería found. Okay, nice. Yes. Found them. Mm -hmm. found them. Found them. Thank you. And let's ask to Carly. Ah, no. Ya pasó Carly. Uh, let's go with um, Marvin and Odalis. Okay, Marvin. What is that? Uh -huh. Them and? Uh, them and took? Yes. Took. Yes. Took them. Yes. Teacher, no se saltó una. Ah, uh, eh, quiero ver. Eh, Ahí creo que era Colin ah, no, y la mira. otra era Luke. Uh -huh. Estoy. Estoy. Uh, haciendo cosas que nada que ver. Bueno, aquí tiene razón. Esta regular, look, en verdad, sería con T, look. Mm -hmm. Thank you, very nice. Thank you, my friends. So take, take them back. Charlie, yeah. okay, in this case, eh, alguna idea? Charlie B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Odalis? Was. Yes. Was. Charlie was. Acuérdense que el verbo to be en presente es am, is y are. En pasado es simplemente was y were. Así de simple. Ok. Ok, to finish this, happy to say again. At lunch time, en el almuerzo, Nick. Ok, tenemos go. En este caso, César, can you help me? Bueno. Uh, Nick, yes, easy peasy. Went, fe, eh, I'm sorry, otra vez. En la otra. Yes, ya yeah, estoy. 
Mas é que para cá. Ok. Em pet, este é regular. Uh, basket with some meat sandwiches. Then they. Já la habíamos utilizado esta. Mm -hmm. Play football, Nick, they. Ok. Uh, what about Juancito? Do you know the past of win? One, teacher. Yes, one. Thank football, you. Nick and they won in the every day. Yes, and they ride el pasado as row. Row. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. Now, uh, let, thank you. Let's continue with some activities in here. That we have this. Um, well, what info should be present in a business card? In una tarjeta de negocios, we have photo of you, uh, QR codes, job title, social media link, uh, timeline, mail address, name, company. Vamos a comenzar diciendo que no debería, que no debería tener una, ¿cómo se llama? Tarjeta de negocio. Cuando estamos hablando de tagline, nos referimos, nos referimos a un logo. Tagline, ok. So you tell me what about if we listen to uh, Gisela, do you think which one of these shouldn't be included? Que no debería ser incluido en una tarjeta de presentación. Imagine you have this. Tarjeta de presentación. Okay. Uh, directions. Okay. Good. And, but talking about this, pero hablando sobre eso, ¿qué consideras no. que no? Que no. Mm. Social media links. Uh, social media links, you consider no. Okay, one point. What about Carly and then Juan? Mm. Uh, QR codes. QR codes, maybe not. Okay, Juancito. Que debe incluir o no debe incluir? No debe incluir. Social media. Social media, okay, maybe. And what do you think photo of you, photo of the Maybe yes, maybe no? Yes. Yes, maybe, okay. Is QR code. QR, aha. Uh -huh. puede, puede tener usted una website. Y yes. Con so, todo su perfil. Ajá, uh -huh. puede ser como vinculado ahí. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now here we have this. Practice this short conversation. Okay. Could you print out the budget file? Budget is el presupuesto, el archivo presupuesto. Okay. So here we have right away, Rita. Conocimos right away en este mismo momento, ahora mismo. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. So in this case, cuando decimos, would you mind? Es como que preguntamos, ¿te molestaría? ¿Te molestaría abrir la ventana? ¿Te molestaría cerrar la puerta? ¿Te molestaría eh, bajar volumen? ¿Ok? ¿Te molestaría apagar o encender el aire acondicionado? So, cuando utilizamos would you mind, el resto de palabras que vienen acá, bueno, por lo menos la primera palabra va a estar con ing, que es el verbo. ¿Ok? Would you mind? Would you mind... Uh, closing the door would you mind calling outside y cuando decimos could you es podrías podrías imprimir el archivo de, de, de presupuesto ok we're going to have some other examples vamos a tener otros ejemplos ok cuando hablamos de request nos referimos a las solicitudes cuando ustedes piden cosas 
you need to ask in your workplace, okay? So use a re request as a verb, ask something politely. Cuando request a new phone, please. Cuando ustedes solicitan un nuevo teléfono. Request es solicitar. Use request as a noun. Something as for. My boss usually has many requests for me. Cuando ustedes, cuando piden, tienen muchas solicitudes. Ok, vamos a utilizar esta. Could you... Could you send me the mail the project Normalmente cuando utilizamos could you utilizamos el, el please porque sonamos más amables. Ahora podemos decir can, can you send me, pero el can es un poquito más pesado. ok eh, vamos a ver otra. Could you call the clients, please? Puedes llamar a los clientes, por favor. Could you prepare a presentation, please? Así que think about two. Piensen en dos. Dos preguntas que ustedes podrían hacer en su lugar de trabajo como solicitudes de manera amable. Could, yo utilizando el could, porque es más fácil utilizar el could. Y es Mario. Maybe teacher, could you make a report? Yes, that's a good one. Okay. Could you make a report? Okay. That's a good one. Thank you, Mario. So, could you, todo va con el could you, porque va dirigido, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Podrías, por favor. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos. And then we go with Julissa. Two okay. questions. Could you prepare um, tea, please? Thank you. And the other? Do you have some other? Do you have another question? Or just one? Yes. Okay. Tienes otra pregunta preparada? No, no, no. Okay, just one. Thank you. Julissa and then Gisela. Okay. Uh, Can you check the email, please? Okay. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, could you organize the meeting, please? Thank you. Very good options. Gisela and Odalis. Cool. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice correr contabilidad? Correr contabilidad. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. okay. Yo normalmente solicito por medio de correos que quien es el contador haga una su cosa ahí que le llaman correr contabilidad a nivel de sistema. 
Eso es algo como actualizar Contra saldos. Ah, ¿Cuánta que le llamo? ¿Cómo sería? Contabilizar. No, okay. es que contabilizar es por decirle una partida. Uh -huh. Ya. No, cuando. Al proceso de, por ejemplo, en, el, en la cuestión de contabilidad de costos, cuando le dicen contabilice, se recostea todos los costos que han ingresado. Sí, pero es eso a nivel de proceso, pero a nivel de sistema, cuando le pide al contador correr uh, o contabilizar es como correr saldos dentro de para que se reflejen dentro de un reporte ya Así se conoce lo de la contabilidad contabilizar eso corre todo el proceso yo trabajo con un sistema ERP ok bueno desgraciadamente yo igual pero <risa> son conceptos Ok. O sea, yo no trabajo contabilidad. Yo hago el ERP. Oh. <ríe> ok. Sí. You, can, you, can, you can talk about update accounts, que puede ser actualizar eh, las cuentas o, o la contabilidad o las finanzas. O si no, puede ser update finance. And remember that in every single job, you have very specific vocabulary. Talking about it, y hay ciertas diferencias, o me imagino que también hay ciertas cosas donde convergen, pero igual, el eh, propio sistema, ok. So, okay. you can say update accounts or update finance. Entonces, quedaría como, could you update accounts, please? Ok, please. Ok. Mm -hmm. Siempre uh, amables. Thank you. O Dalis, creo, ¿verdad? O Dalis en Carly. Ok, if Odal is not ready, let's go with Carly and Cesar. Ok. Uh, could you send me the list of, an, of new clients, please? Good one. And could you prepare the meeting room tomorrow morning, please? <laughs> nice. Cesar and Noe. Yes. Could you, uh, could you call me? After meeting, please. And nice. Could you do inventory, please? Very nice. Noe and Marvin. Okay. Uh, could you help me for a minute, please? Thank you, Noe. Marvin. And after Marvin, Janet. Could you help me with a new project? Nice. Please? And could you give me a new computer, please? Thank you. Good. Janet and Edelnilsa. Could you send me the report, please? Yes. Could you call the supervisor, please? Perfect. Thank you, Janet. Good. Abel and Oscar. Okay, teacher. Could you clean the office, please? Good one. Could okay. you check the email, please? Nice. Oscar and Flor. Okay, teacher. Hey, Juan, could you call a van, please? And could you send an email, please? Thank you. Very good. Okay. Good job. Flor and Fernando. Could you give me the stationery, please? Could you give me the report, please? Good one. Thank you. Fernando and Elia. Could you give me more information about the book of this passenger? Mm -hmm. Nice. Wonderful. And we go with Elia and Brenda. Um, would you bring the report, please? Mm -hmm. Would you do the, direct the meeting, please? Thank you. Nice. We go with Brenda and Adrián. Okay, if Brenda is not ready, let's go with Adriana and Fatim. Okay, not ready, Adriana. What about Fatima? And yes, okay, Fatima and Douglas. 
Could you hear me the current report, please? Could okay. you uh, share the presentation of customer service? Okay, thank you. Very nice. Douglas, Kevin. Could you give me your signature for this task? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, it is important to uh, make this reinforcement. Uh, recuerden siempre decir could, ¿verdad? Porque cold, eh, pues si dicen cold, significa frío, cold, ¿verdad? Entonces es could, could, así. Could, and here we have some listening, okay? So be ready with the listening. Remember to focus on the words that you already know. Recuerden enfocarse en las palabras que ustedes capten que ya tienen, eh, ya están familiarizados. Traten de vincular algunas frases y a ver si podemos ya empezar a anotar ya ideas, frases. Si pueden decir palabras, no problem, that's okay. But if you can express or identify phrases or sentences, that would be perfect. Si pueden identificar frases o también oraciones, eso sería genial. Denme un segundo mientras preparo el audio. Okay, let's listen. Just give me a second, un segundo, please. Okay, let's listen. Hello. Hello. Is this a library? Yes, it is. Quiet, please. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Can I help you? Uh, yes, please. I want to borrow some books. What do I need? You need a library card. Here's the application form. You can take up to six books maximum today. Okay, six books. Yes, you have two weeks to read the books. Then you bring them back. And if I'm late? Every day you are late, there is a fee of 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence a day. Uh, anything else? Mobile phones must be switched off in the library. You can bring your laptop, but please use headphones to watch videos and or listen to music. Okay, great. And you can't bring food or drink. No food, no drink, and... And please speak quietly. People are working here. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, listen one more time. Hello? Hello. Is this a library? Yes, it is. Quiet, please. Oh, sorry, thank you. Can I help you? Uh, yes, please. I want to borrow some books. What do I need? You need a library card. Here's the application form. You can take up to six books maximum today. Okay, six books. Yes, you have two weeks to read the books. Then you bring them back. And if I'm late? Every day you are late, there is a fee of 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence a day. Uh, anything else? Mobile phones must be switched off in the library. You can bring your laptop, but please use headphones to watch videos and or listen to music. Okay, great. And you can't bring food or drink. 
No food, no drink, and... And please speak quietly. People are working here. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now let's listen to some of you. Uh, what about if we have Oscar and then Elia? Words okay, or teacher. phrases? Okay, hello. This is a library. Can you help? Uh, six books, ma maxing today. Anything else? No food, no drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. A lot of phrases, Oscar. Perfect. Okay, Elia, and then we go with um, Gisela. Hello, is the library and thing fast be quite sick book in flying in boy? Okay, thank you, Eddie. Very nice. What about in this case, uh, Gisela and Abel? Okay, if Gisela is not ready. <laughs> Okay, he's a okay. library. Uh, can you help me? Can I do help you? Six mm -hmm. books, no food, no drink. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Abel. And then we go with uh, Janet. Okay. Hello, it is the delivery. What do you need? Sorry. Thank you. Do you need liberty card? Can I help you? Assembly 50, six books. Okay, wonderful. And Janet? This is your library. You, you're welcome. You are late. Your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Okay, Carly. Any other words? Because yes. there were some others. And then Juan. Uh, is it the library? Uh, can I help you? You need a library card. You have two weeks to read the books, then you bring it back. Mm -hmm. Cell phone must be strict off. You can't bring food or drinks and use headphones. Mm -hmm. Nice, use headphones. Okay, Juancito, you have some others? Okay, hello. Is this library? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Six books, maximum two. Okay, six books. Okay, 15 pounds. Uh, watch video or listen to music. No food, no drink. Um, please be quiet. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Okay. A lot of words. A lot of words. Perfect. Okay. Let me share Thank this. Uh, this is the conversation. I want to reinforce or make emphasis in something. Quiero hacer emphasis en alguna. Remember, library is biblioteca. So librarian is el bibliotecario, bibliotecaria. So when people say quiet, please imagine you are in, in your office or in the company and there are some employees that they are making some noise. So you can say quiet, please. Como que, calmense, ¿verdad? Silencio. And then when you say, I want to borrow some books, quiero prestar, ¿verdad? O sea, hacer el préstamo de los libros. And then here we have library card que es la, 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 la identificación verdad la tarjeta de librería de, de la biblioteca and here we have some details um, p cuando decimos p es una una cuota eh, o un pago que se hace you can have a, a, a fee eh, it, in this case eh, there is something if you are late. Si están tarde, si están tardado, you have to, uh, there is a fee, hay un pago, okay? 
50 pence, 50 centavos. Estamos hablando de libras esterlinas, ¿verdad? Es una conversión de británica, ¿ok? 50 pence. And that's it. ¿Ok? Mobile phones must be switched off, ¿verdad? Como que apagados, ¿verdad? Que, que, que es lo ideal. Eh, bring laptop, use health phones, and that's it. Aquí tenemos eh, quiet. Where is it? Aquí ve. Yes, it is quiet, please. Calmado, ¿verdad? Callado, por favor. Pero cuando aquí decimos quietly, quiet es un adjetivo. Quietly es un adverbio. Cal calladamente, silenciosamente. La L y la Y hacen eso, ¿verdad? Es un, eh, es un sufijo que se le agrega. Entonces, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ajá, cuando decimos quiet, quietly, ¿verdad? Silencio, silenciosamente. Okay. Igual, happy es adjetivo. Happily es felizmente. Feliz, felizmente, ¿verdad? Son adjetivos, eh, adverbios. Ok, and we're going to have a practice. Vamos a practicar esta conversación. Uh, maybe Juancito can help me with this. With this screenshot. I don't know if, if the quality is going to be good. Yes. To read it. No sé si la, la calidad va, va a ser como aceptable para leerla. Ya le envié ahí, teacher. Thank you. Let's... Let's check this. Oh, yes, I guess you can read it. Creo que sí se puede leer, right? Okay, um, I'm going to organize the, the teams. Eh, organizo los equipos. Perdón, hay un anuncio ahí para los que tienen todavía eh, duda de los rellenos de concha. Ahí les oh. envío más o menos una foto como es. Este guancito es bien gráfico. Es que para que de hambre. No, es para que para la, la, los que son hombres y mujeres. Su eficiencia de me de deja sin palabras de ver. Dice Juancito, ustedes son gente de poca fe. Dice. I'm going to show you. Bueno. Vaya, pero esas conchas. Mm. ¿Qué hasta que veamos la conversación? <risa> se saca y de ahí se hace el relleno. ¿Es así, Juancito? Exacto. Ah. Sí. Las conchas deben de ser algo grandes. Sí, tienen no que ser algo grandecita, no necesariamente, pero Esta lo suficiente para que quepa el relleno y, y sea el. Pero es de estar lavando así cada concha bien, bien, bien para claro. hacer el relleno. Es claro, bastante claro. trabajoso. Aparte que también va cocinada, ¿verdad? Me imagino que lleva sí. su. Entonces. La bacteria con que se comen así cruda. <ríe> ok, but of course, of course. Y Cherry, ¿usted ha visto los rellenos de cangrejo? No, buenísimo también. En la unión venden. Ustedes me ya salen no con una... Pero no me animé a probarlos. <ríe> uh, bueno. Así dicen. Rellenos de cangrejo. Yo creo que tienen hambre ahorita. Con el carapachito. No, no, pero esos son, son, son platos muy exóticos. Uh -huh. Y lo envuelven en huevo. Sí, ya, ya les digo. Pero... Ahí va otra foto, ahí va otra foto. Ya nos va a ilustrar, ya nos va a ilustrar. Otra, otra, sí, ahí viene, ahí viene. Pero es que son muy buenos. ¿En serio? Va. No, es, no es mentira. No hay día. Yo me ofrecí a ti, Chad, yo no lo ¿Y ¿Por <ríe> qué, no... pues? No sé, bien raro. No, hombre, decir de todo modo. Raro está, pero el sabor es muy bueno. <risa> Vaya, yo así, así se veían, solo que envueltos en huevo, en huevito. Sí, también se pueden hacer así o envueltos en huevo parecido a la de la concha. Cabal, así. Por eso sí. me acordé, porque vi el suyo. <risa> bueno. La concha. La concha. Ok. Just give me a second mientras estoy asignando aquí las... Las, ¿cómo se llama...? Las, los equipos. Mm. 
Give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Brenda, ¿es necesario que aceptes la solicitud? Ok. Es que no estoy en la casa ahorita, ya voy para la casa. Ah, ok.
Hello, Jose. Can you hear me? Hola, good evening. Um, eh, so, hubo dificultades con la plataforma. Sí, no fue mi internet. Ah, Cuando okay. yo vine a la casa, como venía con los datos móviles, se me desconectó. Uh -huh. Ya no podía ingresar. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, bueno. Pero ya estamos acá. Ok, thank you. Nice. And here we have this uh, conversation, but after this, here we have this. Do you have any healthy habit? Which one? How many? Bueno, esta es otra cosa. Okay. What about Carly? On healthy habit? And then Oscar. Okay. Tengo muchos, teacher. Okay, mention one or two. Sí, solo uno puse. I always eat sweet bread with coffee after dinner and drink lots of soda every okay. day. Ok, every day. Por eso estoy así. <laughs> ok, so every day you... O sea you que tengo dos cenas. <laughs> ok, sí. be careful because sweet bread is really addictive. Bien adictivo. Yeah. I know. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, maybe we, you can um, decrease the, the, the quantity. La cantidad puede disminuirla poco a poco. No quiero. Estoy tratando, tratando, estoy tratando. No quiero, pero estoy tratando. <laughs> y no siempre lo consigo, pero ya es algo. You should, you should, debería. Okay, thank you, Carly. Oscar, and then we go with Juan. Okay, teacher. Any only unhealthy habit. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I like to eat young food, for example, pizza, hamburger, or fried chicken. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, junky food, fast food is delicious, but it yeah. contains a lot of grease. Mucha grasa. Oh, I say exactly. Yes, but it's delicious. Okay, well. Yes, uh -huh. yes okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> we we'll go with Juan and Gisela. My unhealthy habit is uh, drink coke at lunch. Every day? Casi, casi que. Almost, almost. Almost. Okay. It is like during the day, during the week, how many sodas? Uh, no. Juice. Um, juice, natural. No, I mean, uh, from Monday to Sunday, how many sodas? Five sodas? Oh, uh, four? Four. Four. Yes, five. because Mario said four, three or four, I guess. No, four or five. Uh -huh. Sí, four and five. Four, similar yeah. to Mario, yes. Yes. The, the problem it's is that... Very, yes, very bad. The problem is that sodas contain a lot of sugar. And sugar yeah. is not good for our body. So that's the problem. Teacher. Yes, Mario. But we will die happy. Oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> you will die happy. <laughs> definitely, my friend. Okay, Gisela, and then Flor. Um, I'll handle a bit. Um, mm -hmm. How do you say? Few. Few water? You drink few water, okay. That's a problem. That's a problem. How many liters? Quantos liters? One? One a day? One. Yes. A day. Yes. Uh, the recommendation is at least three, two or three liters. Mm -hmm. Yes. In my case, I always drink water. I <laughs> guess I drink like four, but the opposite is always bad. Tampoco es bueno. Los extremos, the extremes, uh -huh. are not so good. But Gisela, come on. It is important your living to riñones. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, important. Okay. Thank you, Isela. Uh, Flor, and then we go with Fatima. Um, healthy habit is wash my hand, hands a lot. Your hands? Okay. Yeah, I was talking about extremes, around the sort of extremos, yes, maybe. Okay, because uh, your, your uh, maybe your skin is in contact with chemicals, maybe. Okay, and uh, Flor. Okay, Fatima, and then we go with Cesar. Yes, teacher. Chief come every day. Okay. Thank you, Cesar and Brenda. Uh, I don't have on healthy habit. I exercise five or six times a, a week. My mom is a nutritionist. And if I don't exercise, I feel guilty. I have a day off where I can eat uh, fast food. Oh, very nice. Aprendamos, niños, aprendamos. <laughs> very balanced, muy equilibrado. Because uh, the health, uh, junk food or fast food, it is not the thing, no es pecado comer, right? Uh, two times to... a week, yes. Yeah. Uh, more, it's a bad. <laughs> it, it's bad, really negative. But good for you because you work out as an exercise, right? You, you do exercise yes. and that's really important because you are active. Yes, okay. two, two hours a day. <laughs> wow, a lot. Yo me muero. <laughs> no, but that's good because you, you feel active with energy, right, uh, Cesar? You feel yes. with energy for all the day. It's yes. important. Thank you. And good for you because your mother is a nutritionist. So it means that you have a good, a clear guide. Tienes una buena guía. So you already know. <laughs> O sea que ya está acostumbrado, no lo ve como sufrimiento, no como. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's, it's a habit. Uh -huh. it's, a it's habit. It's a habit. Yeah, it's, it's because this one. Uh, si remember, <laughs> but you can change. We can change. Todo podemos cambiar, right, Cesar? Yes. The beginning is maybe the difficult and to continue. Es que la comida me llama. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but maybe you can eat, but you can work out. Puedes hacer un poco de ejercicio. Yes. Eh, y las calorías se van quemando. ¿Verdad, César? Es importante. Yes. Si, se, si se equilibra, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Y las cantidades, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, carbohidratos, yes. all those things. Uh -huh. Sí, ajá. Cosas con azúcar. ¿no? Pues, si es todo posible dulce. evitarlo, ¿verdad? <ríe> Tal vez. Yeah, hay algo. Yo como yes. pan dulce, quizás una vez al. Uy, no sé, una vez al. Pues, tres meses, quizás. Yeah, uh, I like to eat sweet bread once a week. Or wow. twice. Ah, pues no, César, no es salvadoreño. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no I, I used to eat sweet bread every day. Yo solía comer pan dulce todas las noches, every night. And it was really difficult to say goodbye to that. Fue difícil de alejarme de eso. Difficult. Es un vicio, es un vicio. Sí, yes. es lo máximo comer todos los días, pan dulce. Ahí. Ah, no, pues sí, sí, eso es lo mejor. Sí. Sí. No puedo comenzar, creo que si se come tres hojitas, solo comerse dos, y de ahí bajar y a comerse una, uh -huh. y después. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Una vez a la semana. Poco a poco. Sí me sirve. Pero una bolsa o una caja. Oh. <risa> una caja okay. y el café yes. negro sin nada, sin azúcar, sin eso, así dice, sin, sin azúcar. nada. Wow, <risa> well, little by little, poco a poco, así, ¿eh? Sí. Eh, you, you, can, you can make it, pueden hacerlo poco a poco, but you have to start <risa> in any point, en cualquier punto. Uh, you have to start. The next El lunes. month change. <laughs> next month, next year, on January. Monday. On January. No dije, no dije cuál lunes, vea. Ajá, ok. Well, let's continue. Creo que este tema es bien controversial. Oh, wow. Brenda, and then Fernando. I have any unhealthy 
have it. Uh, you don't. I like coffee. Ah, you like coffee, yes. Uh, I like coffee without sugar. Ah, without. Nice. Because as Cesar mentioned, that's a good recommendation. Coffee with no sugar, right? And that, that it, actually it's helpful. Thank you, Brenda. And Fernando, are you there? Okay, if not, uh, let's continue with this. But talking about health, uh, remember, something that I consider so important in life, it's having good habits, tener buenos hábitos. Si tenemos buenos hábitos in every aspect of our life, not just uh, related to food, but wake up early, uh, go to bed uh, early as well, to sleep six hours, seven hours if possible, right? And so, yeah to anticipate and well, a lot of things. Let's continue with this. And here you, you can see, ya en lugar de, de estarnos culpando por, por todo lo que comemos, que que muy, que la comida, lo mejor, but well. And actually in El Salvador, we have, in my opinion, one of the best uh, typical food. Como la, la comida típica, buenísima El Salvador. If you compare to some other countries, there are, uh, tasty food, hay comida buenísima. But El Salvador, I don't know, maybe because we are Salvadorians, but Salvador has very nice food. Okay. How to use could you and would you mind? In este caso, uh, we already did some uh, questions using could. For example, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem, okay? Ahora tenemos el would you mind? Would you mind calling the plant manager? Y como les he dicho, aquí tenemos el verbo con ing. Vean, calling. Would you mind getting an appointment uh, uh, with the HR for me? Or would you mind preparing? Would uh, in a minute, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? No, uh, not a problem. Okay, entonces esa es eh, la estructura. Would you mind y el verbo en ing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, answers to requests with could you are not normally yes, I could. Las respuestas para el could you. Normalmente no es sí. Uh, Despite the answers are actions that are requested. Podemos decir, sure, right away, no problem. No necesariamente se dice yes. Ok, could you? Ok, no problem in this moment. Um, here we have, despite the answer for requests with would are not usually. Um, no, I wouldn't, no mind. Digamos que cuando alguien le dice, puedes cerrar la ventana. Puedes bajar el aire acondicionado, puedes apagar la televisión. No, normalmente no se dice no. ¿Verdad? Porque te molestaría. Te molestaría hacer eso. O sea, te lo pide con mucho eh, respeto. Entonces, necesito que hagan una pregunta con el would you mind. Y eh, puede ser parecida a la de could you, el que, la que hicieron. Solo que el verbo tiene que ir con ing. ¿Ok? Let's see what do we have here. Write polite requests. Uh, you receive or give your workplace. Bien. Vamos a aquí. Eh, Vamos a hacer esas preguntas con would you mind y el verbo en ing. I'm going to give you one minute. Le doy un minuto solo para que me hagan una pregunta, ¿ok? Be ready.
Okay, 14 minutes and we finish. 14 minutes y terminamos. So let's start in this case with uh, Flor. Do you have your question? And then we go with Oscar. And would you mind if you if a writing a cake? No sé si le hice bien. Pouching. Okay. Eh, sí se puede el would you mind if, pero solo sería acá. En este caso, would you mind if I te molestaría si yo, por ejemplo. Would you mind if I turn the AC? ¿Te molestaría si enciendo el, el ¿cómo se llama? El, el aire acondicionado. En, entonces, en ese caso ya no le estamos pidiendo a alguien que lo haga, sino que le estamos preguntando si le molesta que yo lo haga. Por eso, uh -huh. would you mind calling the plant manager? ¿Te molestaría, perdón, ajá, ¿te molestaría llamar al, al eh, gerente de planta? No es como decir, ¿te molestaría si yo le llamo? ¿verdad? Entonces sería, would you mind? Como pidiéndole. Uh -huh. Buy a cake. Uh -huh. Would you okay. mind buying a cake? Would okay. you mind buying a cake? Yes, that's, that's the way. Thank you. Oscar and Juan. Okay. Would you mind sending cash flow? Uh -huh. Good. Eh, Juan and Jose. Mauricio. Okay. Would you mind check my box? Checking. Oh, checking. checking my box. Ok, nice. José, Mauricio y Carly. Ok. Would you mind doing, doing, eh, the, doing. doing the eh, homework? Ok, thank you. Solo recuerda que aquí decimos would. Ok. No. Would. Thank you. Carly y César. Carly. Perdón, tenía, tenía el micrófono. Ah, me la están regañando. Me no. la están regañando, Carly. Vaya. No, no. Ahorita. Would you mind help me, helping me to fix my chair? Perfect. César and Fátima. Would, would you mind working in the sun? Mm -hmm. Good one. Uh, Fátima and Brenda. Ok, Brenda en Abel. Would you mind call me the taxi? Ok, calling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Abel en mm -hmm. Janet. Would you mind talking this document back to me? Nice, nice. Janet en Laura. Would you mind calling the personal maintenance? Perfect. No, eh, we go with Noé, right? En Marvin. Yes. Would you mind sending the mails? Perfect. Uh, Marvin and Mario. Would you mind sending the pen screen, please? Okay, that's the way. Mario and Julissa. Would you mind taking me a photo? Mm -hmm. Okay, taking me. Mm -hmm. Taking a photo. Yes, good one. Julissa and Odalis. Will you mind writing? Reports, please. Hey, writing reports. Thank you. Odalis and Elia. Will you mind if, like, if I ask someone else for help? Okay, would you mind asking? Asking. Sí, okay. pero así es como te está, como le explicaba a, a Flor. Sí, se puede. Pero en este caso le estás eh, diciendo, ¿te molestaría si yo pido ayuda? Entonces no es como, ¿te molestaría pedir ayuda? Ajá, es como que ya no le pedís al, o sino que le preguntas si le molesta, si pues lo haces. Pero está okay. muy bien. Elia en Douglas. Uh, hold my uh, printing report. Thank you. Douglas, ok, en Adrián. 
would you mind making a report for the next week? Good one, Adriana and Kevin. Okay, Kevin and Gisela. Do you die? Okay, uh, system manager. Okay, thank you. Okay, Gisela. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice entregar? Deliver. Deliver. Uh, what do you mean delivery the gift card a person? Okay, thank you. Would, mm -hmm. recuerden, would you mind yes. delivering? Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Now let's move to what's the name of the song? We have eight minutes, solo nos quedan como ocho minutos. Ya es lo último. What's the name of this song? And here we have Carly. <laughs> Carly. 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 Okay. Baile. <laughs> Ayer estaba lista como en dos minutos después de que me dijo, pero como ya teníamos más cosas que hacer. Carly, que ya, no de, ya nos íbamos todos, estaban en pijama. Y yo en veloz buscando la canción. Va, todos estaban ya hasta cepillándose los dientes. Y, pues, ahí. Yo me motivada. <laughs> motivada. Ok, Carly. And let me give you the control. Ok. You go. Ahí no miro. Ya. Yeah. Lo ven. Uh -huh. Puedes darle zoom si quieres. Con más imagen, solo el roll de, 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 del ah, sí, sí, mouse. Sí. Ah, no, si quieres. no sé cómo. Solo no. si quieres. Bueno, miro, dicho. Bueno, no quiero. Me... No, no miro, no sé cómo. Ah, sí, ah ya sí. sé cómo. Ah. Ya se la... <risa> Todos los días se aprende algo nuevo. Sí. Ok. La canto o la digo. No, dila, pero sí. Vaya, pues. Si Cántela. Si no. Que lo que salga de tu se cora. me sale el gallo, se me sale el gallito. No gallo, importa. <ríe> Solo porque lo hizo Juancito, eh. No, pero es que éxito. si lo van a adivinar bien rápido, así no se puede. No, es <ríe> el punto. Pero es que usted eligió una bien difícil. Esto sí es pecado que no la conozcan. Cante la Carly. Vale, pues. No, no, o sea, no se la puede decir. Ya, ya me aprecié. Ya. Yeah. Vale, it's too cold yeah. for you here and now. So let me hold both your hands in the holes of my sweater. Ok. Ya me aprecié. <laughs> me aprecié. Okay. Teacher, teacher, por dentro usted, house. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a problem. And I don't know. Que la cante para saber cuál es. Este guancito. Okay. A band or a singer? Because it's I, I don't a band. Know. From the United States, from America, from uh, England, uh, Canada. Actually, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Que la cante. Que la cante. Este guancito. <risa> Le gusta el, el la, la, ¿cómo es? Las voces inocentes. Lo que pasa es que así se va a expresar mejor, Carly, ahí. O sea. Bien fácil, se la voy a poner. <risa> cántela, cántela. No. Que la no cante. Que la cante. Ah, Carly. ¿Quién dijo qué? Coldplay. Coldplay. No. 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 Pensé que era yellow. No. No. Ok, say it. Mejor dila. No, o sea, voy a cantar el voy a dar. It's too cold for you here. And now, so let me hold both your hands in the holes of my sweater. Okay. Sí sé cuál es, pero el nombre sí no, no, no me recuerdo. Sí sé cuál es la canción. Es la de los memes, es la de los memes, sí. tristes. Oh. What's the name? The meme es triste. Con lágrimas celestes. The, the, the name es triste. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. The neighborhood. Imagínense. 
de los memes tristes. <risa> Yo les dije que iba a ser triste. <risa> memes tristes, ok. De so. Qué bárbaro. Sí, qué bárbaro. De referencia. <risa> thank you, sí, sean de referencia. Ok, eh, Carly, thank you. Eh, Julisa, me eh, Carly, pero le salió, le salió bien la, la canción, le pues, salió Sin gallo, bien. sin gallo, pero aquí no, donde sí. me tiemblan las manos y las tengo congeladas. Por la vida, así, así no, es. Gracias. Gracias. Barbara, Carly. Good, Carly. Thank you. Julisa, ¿estás por ahí? Ya, yeah, teacher. Julisa, te tocaría la canción, entonces, tomorrow, eh, to, yes, tomorrow. Mm, ok. Thank you. Y sería que, este, Julissa, te quedas ahora entonces con lo de la sesión. Ok, teacher. Ok. Uh, let's see. What about the healthy, unhealthy habits que nos hacen falta? Que digan la verdad. Uh, Marvin, and then Janet, unhealthy habits. Mm -hmm. Okay, my unhealthy habit is uh, I drink a lot of coffee in the office and I drink a lot of soda too. Okay, drink coffee and soda. Yes, definitely. Uh, but habits, well, try to get better. Uh, Janet, and then mm. what else? No, uh, I mean, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Habit, unhealthy, unhealthy habit. Not a healthy habit. Okay. No drink um, coffee, soda, eh, jugos, carbonatadas, todo okay. eso. Thank you. Perfect. Odalis and Laura. Yes, I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. Okay. You have to improve that. And who else? Uh, Laura, Julissa? The junk food, food and soda. Okay, junk food and soda, yes. A uh, powerful combination. And Julissa, bad habits or unhealthy habits? Um, my Huntley, come on, how Huntley habit. Healthy. Healthy habit is drink a lot or soda. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Recuerden que cuando les mande speaking activities, por favor revisen la pronunciación de las palabras que les envío. Es importante porque si vienen acá a, sin preparar, sin respuesta preparada, lo pueden hacer. El problema está que cuando no han preparado la respuesta es más lento, la clase se vuelve lenta y todo eso, pero necesito que, 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 que me apoyen en eso para que la clase esté más fluida. Ok, say hi, hello, good evening, goodbye, si escuchan su nombre. A ver. Present, teacher. Alexandra, Brenda, Present, thank you. Eh, César. Present, teacher. Ok, Douglas Aronoy, there is... El, ok. Present. Eh, Fátima, Fernando. Present teacher. Good. Flor, Gisela. Good night teacher. Good night teacher. Good night. José Mauricio, Juan. Present. Okay. Good night teacher. Eh, mañana estaré de oyente nada más. Ok, ahí me escribe cualquier cosa. Ok, eh, thank you. Thank you. Julissa, Carly. Present, teacher. Okay, thank Present, you. Teacher. Laura, Marvin. Present. I'm here. Nice. Good one. Uh, Janet Odalis. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar, Kevin. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. No. Mario, Noé. Here I am, teacher. Good Present. one. And Adriana. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. They can't good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Julissa, este, hay algún tema o alguna, este, te va bastante rápido. 
este tiempo. Así que tú me dices si hay algún tema, algún vocabulario que te, te dificulte o te gustaría que haga un pequeño refuerzo. Tú me dices. Mm, no, creo que es el momento todo claro, teacher. El tema de ayer sí no sé cuál fue, porque ayer más que todo solo estuve de oyente, entonces era como que a veces prestaba atención, a veces no, solo iba medio escuchando. Ok, pero has estado haciendo las tareas, ¿verdad? De, de la plataforma. Sí. ¿Te, ha, ¿Te has fijado que tenés el 80%? Porque eso es importante, si tienes el 80% de... De, para que puedas aprobar fíjense que lo que no entiendo es al final de donde dice progreso ese es como dice hw01 hw02 3 4 sí, de ese medio. son las tareas ah, ok ajá de ahí dice middle final y de ahí dice total pero, o sea, el total sería lo que llevo hasta el momento. No, no, eh, por cada tarea tenés que ir viendo, por ejemplo, es que son las unidades. Cada unidad tiene cinco tareas. Ok, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces eso es importante, lo que tiene que ver, que son cuatro unidades, llevamos dos hasta el momento. Eh, entonces mira si, si llevas el 80% de la unidad y el midterm es el examen de medio curso. También todo se necesita el 80%. ¿Ok? Ok. Sí, pero es que aquí hay unas que no me salen, teacher. Bueno, ya voy a no revisar. No sé si me estaré equivocando. Quizás sí. en la... Porque más que todo, digamos en la sección donde salen las barritas, no me sale que tenga unas, pero de ahí en las demás sí dice... Es que sí... Si... 100%, unit 2, 100%, ah, vaya, 100%. Entonces, vaya, entonces no hay problema. Si tenés unit 1, 2 con 100%, pues, eso es lo que tenés que ver. Okay. Ah, okay. Vaya, okay. ayer lo único que vimos fue un refuerzo del el afirmativo en pasado, uh -huh. el negativo y la pregunta. Entonces, si te das cuenta, ahora hicimos un repaso de, de, de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Con el did. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ajá. Y ayer vimos más que todo lo negativo con el didn't, que es bastante fácil porque solo utilizas el didn't y ya se hace negativo en pasado. El verbo normal, no lo cambias. Y en pregunta solo utilizas el did. En presente utilizamos el do. Por ejemplo, do you like eh, coffee? En pasado sería did you like coffee? Solo el did es el que cambia. ¿Verdad? Eso sería todo, Julissa. De ahí no, no hay mayor dificultad. Lo que sí te recomiendo es que no te atrases con las tareas y de que, ¿cómo se llama? Vayas así cabal al día, ¿ok? Si hay algún ejercicio que se te dificulta o algo así, este, me escribí, me mandas una captura. Normalmente lo que tenés que ver es que no haya doble espacio entre palabras, que haya mayúscula al, al inicio de toda la oración. A veces hay oraciones que necesitan un punto al final. Sí, eh, con, yo creo que tuve problemas con el mismo ejercicio que todos mis compañeros. Creo que las 7 de la 2 o sí. la... No me acuerdo. Pero era la manera en la que quizás estaba escrita. Sí, Porque eso... le ponía una y le quitaba la otra. Le ponía el das y le quitaba el do y eh, llevaba las dos a la, al final. Cabal, cabal, ajá, solo era eso. Si no, mira, por si tenías dificultades, yo quiero ver lo que Dali fue que no había puesto atención, porque yo el martes al final, ajá, le di la clave, que era tú, Ordaz, ajá, solo eso le hacía falta, porque las demás ya tenían más o menos ordenadas. Así que eso sería, Julisa, este, preparar la clase para eh, mañana, ¿ok? Eh, la, sí, la lo de la, la canción, eh, ¿verdad? Una parte, un extracto, ¿eh? no, no la tenés que cantar, solo la lees, y no decís el nombre de la canción ni del artista, y la adivinamos. Ok, ok, okay está bien. Gracias, teacher. Cuídate, bye bye. Thank you, bye.